Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi and my brother Uch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Real quick. For those that celebrate, happy Easter. For those that don't, happy Dragon Ball Super Day. Because every week it seems like a holiday for this damn anime. Bars? I guess. <laughs> this week we got fists crossed for the first time. Android 17 versus Son Goku. Boy, can that not be any more true? I'm spitting all these bars right now. What the hell is going on? He's about to face Goku for the first time, and it seems like he's about to take him on in Super Saiyan Blue form. But we'll see how well that goes. We're still waiting to see Tien, and we're still waiting to see Master Roshi, and technically, we're still waiting to see Vegeta. Yeah. And then hoping to see if there's anything else going on with the other universes at the same time. And I'm hoping that the time goes a little bit faster. Because right now we're still only currently three hours in. And they got 37 hours left on the clock. So, mm -hmm. it's reaction time. And let's get right into it. Oh, do you want to know the latest and greatest dispute online right now for Dragon Ball Super? What is it? Apparently, and I'll get to it once we, like, I mean, I'm going to explain it to you now, but once you see it happen, people are claiming that Brola, the female Broly, right? They're saying that she's part of Universe 11 and not the same universe from where Kaba is from, which is Universe 6. And the reason being is, you'll see in a second, they believe that once you see Kaba, you see Frost, right here, right? You see her, and then you see them, right? And then there's another silhouette image of her not transformed that's part of all of the Universe 11 team. And she looks very much like what she would look like without transformed, but you can't tell because it's a silhouette. So people are saying that she's actually from Universe 11 and not Universe 6, but it obviously makes more sense if she's from 6, considering that Shampa was basically yelling at Kaba, I need more Saiyans in the last episode. Yeah. And then, they're even going as far as saying she's part of the Pride Troopers. Boy, chill. <laughs> You're her brother Uch. But we'll see what happens. That's weird though, if there's like a switch up. Honestly, like... For, know, for story purposes and considering at how scared Cabo was reacting, you can you can take that one in two ways. You can say one, he was acting all scared because obviously he had a god of destruction yelling at his ass. And two, you could take that as him being scared because this man was probably considering how strong she was and probably didn't even want her involved because he would be afraid that she might kill somebody. Which <laughs> He's against the rules. But like I said, we'll see what happens. Honestly, if she ends up actually being a part of the Pride Troopers, I'm only gonna be hype. Bro, that makes no sense though. It doesn't make any sense, she bro. She won't even wear the costume. Well, their, their argument is, oh, but what about the one guy that looks like Rolento? He doesn't wear the same outfit. But I'm like, yeah, but he's like, he still acts like he should be a part of the team. Like, I. It's, like I said, it's very weird and it's very strange of them to stick her in the middle of showing where she should be from and where she might actually be from. But, here we go. Brand new episode 86. Let's get it. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, right into it. Yeah, right into it. Then they're about to be searching for that Android 17. And I wasted no time. I've never seen that technique before. Yeah. Whoa. Did he just? What? He's moving it? <laughs> what? I didn't think that John could move. Boy. Damn, everything changes with Dragon Ball Super, man. That's crazy. Stuff that we never thought that could ever happen, happened. Yeah, because that thing was stuck to the ground, wasn't it? I mean, it's connected to the sense of being guy. Oh, yeah, Corrin's place. He's a family? Boy. <laughs> he has a wife and kids? Wow. Boy. Oh. 
That's Oob. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That has to be Oob. Oh my god! It. They confirmed it. So that means that the next arc, they're gonna go back, they're gonna go right back into it then, right? Is it safe to assume that, guys? Boy. Son! That was godlike. He did that job on one hand. Holy crap. Son, my man, ooh, coming back, son. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hyped. So that literally means so that since they're planting the seed in our minds now to be refreshed about Oob, that means that after this whole power of tournament is over, most likely we'll be back into getting towards that part of Z where this whole 10 year time gap is taking place. Oh, I can't wait. I wonder what they're going to do after that because after that it was GT, but we're not doing GT. Or are we? Boy, I, I'll f kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Because I ain't trying to see little Goku again. But for real though, I really want to see what's, how the heck could 17 possibly get any stronger. What are these red ar red ribbon army looking ass <laughs> dude? Alright, but those are just bullets. Come on now. This is a Dragon Ball universe. Like He does, does look stronger though. Just from... What do you mean? He looks no different. He's just wearing a ranger shirt. He looking good as hell. <laughs> Alright, well, Android 17 always had that cool look to him. Cool ass, you know. But that's what I'm saying, like, I don't, under I don't understand how he could possibly get so strong. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. If all he's doing is protecting an island from dudes that's shooting guns. <laughs> if you shoot a gun in the Dragon Ball universe against dudes like... What? No! Boy, he doesn't remember. What do you mean he don't remember? Poachers. Wow. So, Android 17 really doing a service. Protecting these animals on the island. Wow, look at that. Yo, my man 17 doing the thing. Oh. Go ahead. Shoot him. Shoot. Go ahead. I dare you. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Skirt. Skirt! That's a crazy looking ass Minotaur. <laughs> Yo, low key looks like a legendary Pokemon. Yo, Goku trying to fight that John. He would have killed it. They could wish for more technically though. You're right. That'd be the first time they ever made like an economical wish saving like a species. That would have been cool. Yeah. Hey. Flashbacks. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Goku and 17 never fought. Exactly. This is, the, this is literally their first time meeting, actually. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. Oh, he went straight Super Saiyan. Come on now, Goku. He's faced it. He says Vegeta Super Saiyan, so he kind of knows. Half Halfway. Time. Yo! <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Son. I'm, I'm actually really feeling 17 right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yo. Uh oh. Hey. Oh. Ooh. My God. <laughs> okay. So Goku practicing his ring out skills, not trying to get eliminated by getting wrung out. I can't believe he's actually rolling with him right now. It is just super sad. All right, go ahead, Goku. Power up. You gotta get right to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn. What is this? He is literally giving it to him right now. Yo, that really says something about the, the inhabitants of Earth right now. Woo! That animation. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I love the Super Saiyan Blue transformation. Yo. Like that too.
<laughs> yeah. Oh man. Just looking at it. What? Boy. He has a shield. Where did he get this barrier jutsu from? I cannot. So he just took a Super Saiyan blue. Kamehameha. Uh, Dude, this is incredible. <laughs> They're fighting upside down, going down into the water. And they both Boy. insta dry. <laughs> nah. This is crazy. Yeah, Goku got something up his sleeve still. He well, first of all, yeah, he's not he doing got, Kaioken. Yeah, he's not doing it. But I don't know if there's any. And then further. yeah, yeah, he's got something else. I know he does. This f Goku, bro. He got his phone. cell phone. He got three, three kids. Two of them are adopted. Okay. Damn, you saw that fried rice. Damn. Oh, he eating lo mein, oh. fried rice, dumplings. Dumpling. This man ordered Chinese food. What the hell? Dude, we, we literally named it spot on. I wonder if he's gonna want a wish to get those animals back. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, he's gonna have to tell him the truth if he wants him to be on the freaking team. Oh, he's gonna need to know now. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Android angry face. The wind. The wind blowing, you know it's serious. <laughs> nah, man, it can't be like that. You gotta join the squad. Yeah. Who this? Oh, sh**. Yeah. Alright, all right, so I'll, all right, nah, I'll save it. <laughs> well, I'm probably with you on what you're about to say, so I'll let you say it once we get to the song at least. 31 hours and 40 minutes. So that was like a six hour time skip right there. All right, so those guys are going for the Minotaurs where Andrew 17 is. So he's gonna have to fight them off, but they might be stronger or whatever. I don't know. So Goku's gonna have to help and then that's when he's gonna run things. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent by Brother Ooch right there. That's what I think. Literally was gonna say basically the same thing. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to take some time away to fight this new foe before the tournament happens. So that way it gives Seventeen a reason for him to join the team as a thank you to Goku, because he helped him out. I can't wait to get this song. I this this is probably one of like my favorite endings right now currently. Alright, let's shake it. These are the guys. Yeah. Ultimate Ranger Team. So yeah, we were both spot on with the next episode. They're not wasting any time with that. And they're literally doing exactly what we said they're going to do. It's just a matter of, is it going to take them one full episode to actually get that done? Or is it going to take them two? Because you know how sometimes that can happen. They'll elongate things and they'll literally be like, okay, we're going to separate this into two separate episodes. We're going to make sure it's like the, like most of it. And then the next ep like the episode after that is going to be like the ending with some new stuff that we don't even know about yet. So what do you think about the episode overall? It was good. I, I just wanted to know what 17 got still. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to find out anytime soon, especially with them confirming that they got stuff up their sleeve. And I honestly don't think that these galactic poachers are, are going to be true? any kind of threat where they're going to have to reveal their aces up their sleeve if you will but yeah i also thought the episode was freaking awesome just for the sole purpose well one two reasons mainly 
I'm very surprised. Like, I'm still in shock that 17 is as strong as he is, even after what they went through with Cell and just how he's been living with a family. He's got two adopted kids, one real kid, a wife. He's taking care of a freaking island full of animals, being a, a, a ranger, protecting these dudes. And then after all this, he's somehow still strong enough to keep up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now, I wonder if he's stronger than Vegeta at this point. <laughs> Cause that'll be, <laughs> that'll be some crazy sh** and Vegeta will be pissed. <laughs> He'll be like, what? Cause then that means Goku's number one, obviously. And then Android 17's behind Goku and then Vegeta's behind him. That's a crazy claim and realization. I'm glad you brought that up because that would be very crazy if that was true and then that would mean vegeta got a step up obviously well who knows maybe vegeta been hiding something too yeah what if he went to google and he actually did learn how to do kaioken oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and my second thing is they brought up oob. oob they brought up a part of dragon ball z that was that we ended with the last time we saw z and we ended with z is that tournament that took place on earth after the 10 year gap that all this right now in Dragon Ball Super is filling. So, does that mean that after this arc, we're gonna head towards that and basically rectify and continue after where Z left off and then we head into territory that we've all been waiting for and the answer to the question will be justified. Will GT no. happen or not? GT. Or will, <laughs> or will it somehow be retconned? I feel like that might do its justice in itself to earn itself a whole video of a discussion, which I will probably do sometime during this week. So look forward to that. And with all that being said, make sure all y'all like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Twitter and Discord, especially on Discord. Let us know what you guys thought about the episode. And I guess I should extend this invitation to all of y'all as well as i did to the boruto reaction folks i'm gonna be starting a dragon ball super fan art contest if you want your special shout out on the reactions for dragon ball super you have one week all you gotta do is join the discord and go into the dragon ball super fan art panel and submit your art there and be like hey i'm just trying to get this shout out and we're gonna pick our top three so make sure you start your art start your drawing and get yourself a shout out on the Uchi Games reactions. And we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>